How's it going? Today I'll be showing you how we can use for loops in the Rust programming language. So basically in Rust, all for loops must use an iterator. So as an example, to print out numbers from 1 to 10, we can type this in. For i in 1 dot dot 11, two curly braces, and we can use print line down here, and say the number is, and then pass in i. So up here we have firstly i, which is the variable which holds the current element that we're looping through. And this 1.11 is an expression which generates a range. And a range is just a series of numbers from, in this case here, 1 to 11, non-inclusive on the upper bound. So this just means 1 to 10. But it's also an iterator. So with for loops, this second bit here needs to be an iterator. So now if we try and run this, we should see our result. We get 1 to 10. Alright. So, uh, to make things a bit more clearer, what we can do is uh, define a range up top here, and then loop through that one. So as an example, we can say, let numbers equal to 30 to 51. This will be a range from 30 to 50, inclusive. Now inside here, we can type in numbers instead. We'll try on this. We get 30 to 50. So numbers is a variable and it's a range. So it's of type range. So we're, we're using a range inside the for loop and a range is an iterator. We can also use for loops to loop over a vector. As an example, make a new vector up here called animals. And this will just be a vector of strings of animal names. So rabbit, dog, cat, for example. Now in the for loop, we'll change i to a for animal. And for the expression, we want to use animals.iter and then those guys which we'll call the ITER, or I guess it's short for iterator, method on animals. So when you're using vectors, make sure you call dot .ITER because that will prevent the ownership of the values inside the vector from being moved to the for loop. And that means once you've, uh, so if you, if you use this right here, this will work, but you then cannot access the values of animals down here. So make sure you use dot .iter with vectors. Now in here we can also obviously just uh, print out the animal name. So the animal name is, and then pass in A. We'll see how this goes. Run this. Rabbit, dog, cat. Perfect. Now also, if you wanted to find out what index are currently on in the for loop, you can use the enumerate method at the end of your expression to do that. As an example, we can type in dot enumerate, enumerate, and then for the uh, for the uh, value bit, we can use a tuple instead. With the tuple, the first variable will be index, the second being just your normal value. So now with index, we can use it in the for loop to find out where we are in a loop. As an example, we can type in the index is and the animal name is. Then pass in index here in the correct order. And we'll see how this goes. We run this. And we get index is 0, 1, 2, rabbit, dog, cat. And that is the basic overview of how you can use a for loop in the Rust programming language. Thank you for watching. See you later.